In this video, we're going to look at integration using partial fractions. So here we've got a question that we can't integrate in its current form. We need to split it up into two separate fractions, into partial fractions, before we can integrate. So we're going to rewrite it as we're going to say 5x plus 7 over x plus 2 and x plus 1 is equal to a over x plus 2 plus b over x plus 1. So we're just splitting it into partial fractions. The next step is to multiply through by the denominator. So by x plus 2 and, and x plus 1. So that gives us 5x plus 7 equals a so the x plus 2's will cancel, so it'll be a times x plus 1 plus b, and the x plus 1's will cancel, so b times x plus 2. And then we're going to work out what a and b are by substituting in a value for x. So if we let x equal negative 1, we'll eliminate a, because we'll have a times 0, which is 0. So that's 5 negative 1s plus 7. We've eliminated A, so it's B times negative 1 plus 2. So that means we've got negative 5 plus 7 is 2, and negative 1 plus 2 is 1, so 1B, one so D is 2. And then we'll find out what A is by eliminating B. So we'll let x equal negative 2 this time. So that will give us 5 negative 2s plus 7 equals a times negative 2 plus 1. And we've eliminated b because b times 0 is 0. So that gives us negative 3, so negative 10 plus 7, negative 3 equals negative 1a, so negative a or minus a. So if negative 3 equals negative a, a must be 3. So now we've split it into partial fractions. What have we got? We've got 3 over x plus 2 and 2 over x plus 1. So we've changed the question. So now we've got the integral of 3 over x plus 2 plus 2 over x plus 1 with respect to x. Okay, so let's look at integrating it now. So when we integrate a 1 over x or something like 1 over x, we get ln. So we've got 3 ln x plus 2. And then we divide by the bracket differentiated, but it's actually 1. So we don't have to worry about that. And we've got 2 ln x plus 1. And again, divide by the bracket differentiated, which is 1 again, so that's absolutely fine, and plus C. Okay, here's another question. Ooh, we've got a top-heavy, top-heavy fraction here. So we're going to divide it first, and then we will split it into partial fractions. So if you remember from partial fractions, if you've got a top-heavy, so if the power, a power on the top is the same, or is it, or if it's greater than the power on the bottom, it's top heavy. So we've got, well, we've got x squared plus 8x plus 13 on top. And we've got, if we expand the bottom, we'll have x squared plus 2x plus 3x. So plus 5x plus 6 on the bottom. So how many x squared go into x squared? 1. And then we times through by the 1. So x squared plus 5x plus 6. Take away. So that gives us 3x plus 7. x squared doesn't go into 3x. So that's it. So we're going to rewrite it as 1 whole 1 plus 3x plus 7 over the original denominator, x plus 3 and x plus 2.
So now we've got something we can split into partial fractions. So we'll keep the 1, we'll ignore the 1 for now, just remember it's there. And we'll split 3x plus 7 over x plus 3 times x plus 2 into partial fractions. So a over x plus 3 plus b over x plus 2. We multiply through by the denominator, so times everything by x plus 3 and x plus 2. And that gives us... 3x plus 7 equals a times x plus 2 plus b times x plus 3. So then we're going to find out what a and b are by substituting in values of x. So let x equal negative 2. So that will get rid of a. So that will give us 3 negative 2s plus 7 equals b times negative 2 plus 3. So we've got negative 6 plus 7 is 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, so b is 1. And then we will let x equal negative 3 to get rid of b. So that's 3 negative 3s plus 7 equals a times negative 3 plus 2. So that is negative 9 plus 7, so negative 2 equals negative a, which means a is 2. So what have we got now? We've got 1, don't forget the 1, plus 2 over x plus 3, plus 1 over x plus 2. And now we can integrate that. So that's our new question. So 1 integrated is x, and then we've got 2 ln x plus 3, divided by the bracket differentiated, which is 1, plus ln x plus 2, divided by the bracket differentiated, which is 1 again, plus c. And another question, uh, pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready to go through. So we're going to split it into partial fractions, which will be, we'll say x plus 8 over x minus 4, x plus 2 is equal to a over x minus 4 plus b over x plus 2. Multiplying through by the denominator gives us x plus 8 equals a times x plus 2 plus b times x minus 4. And then we're going to eliminate a by letting x equal negative 2. So that'll be negative 2 plus 8 equals b times negative 2 minus 4. So that is negative 2 plus 8 is 6. And negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. So 6 equals minus 6b. So b must be negative 1 or minus 1. Then we'll eliminate b by letting x equal 4. So let x be 4. So we have 4 plus 8 equals a times 4 plus 2. 12 equals 6 a. a is 2. So we will rewrite the question as... 2 over x plus 4, 2 over x minus 4 even, and then we've got plus b over x plus 2, so we've got plus negative 1 over x plus 2, or we could write that as 2 over x minus 4 minus 1 over x plus 2. So there's our new question. So let's integrate. So we'll have 2 ln x minus 4 divided by the bracket differentiated, which is 1 again. So we don't have to worry about that. Minus ln x plus 2 divided by the bracket differentiated, which is 1 again, and plus c. 
here we've got another question if you want to pause the video give it a go you can and press play when you're ready to go through the answer so we have x minus 7 over 2x plus 1 times x minus 2 so we're going to change it into a over 2x plus 1 plus b over x minus 2. Multiplying through by the denominator will give us x minus 7 equals a times x minus 2 plus b times 2x plus 1. So if we let x equal 2, we can get rid of a. So that will be 2 minus 7 equals b times two twos plus one. So that will give us negative five equals five b. So b must be negative one. And if we let x equal negative half, we can eliminate b. So that's negative a half minus seven equals a times negative a half minus two so that's well if i put it as a decimal minus 7.5 equals minus 2.5 a so a is three so we'll rewrite the question as three over two x plus one and b is minus one so minus 1 over x minus 2. So we've rewritten the question in a form where we can integrate it. And now we will do that. So we've got 3 ln 2x plus 1. Divide by the bracket differentiated, which is 2. So we've got 3 over 2 ln 2x plus 1. Minus ln x minus 2, the bracket differentiates is 1, and plus c.